the game would be played before the largest home crowd in Baltimore Colts history. This game itself would soon make history as one of the longest and greatest ever played in the 58 years of professional football. From the outset, Raider execution was impressive as Stabler began a classic shootout that would total 345 yards passing as just one phase of a thundering assault. Now the Raiders are thinking six at this juncture. Hand off to Davis, adjust over left tackle down to the 25, the 20, kicks off to the 15, the 10, zip on the man at the five, touchdown Raiders! Clarence Davis with a quick adjustment at the line of scrimmage, powered past the left tackle spot, head ahead of steam, pranced into the secondary, and left a trail of would-be tacklers behind him. While Clarence Davis left tacklers clutching at air, Baltimore quarterback Burt Jones was reluctantly accepting the axiom, when sacked by Matuzak, discretion is the better part of valor. Like a great silver war, Rice, Matuzak, Hendricks, Johnson, and others rose up. Then the Raiders struck again. Second down, Stabler back to pass, throwing a deep bomb. He's got Branch against Muncie. He makes a leaping, incredible catch, gets up from the 28, and is run out of bounds on the 20-yard line. Holy Toledo, what a catch by Branch. The ball is on the nine. Stabler back to pass. Banizak is in the game. Stabler looks, lots one to Casper. Touchdown, Raiders! Every play was big. Ted Hendricks got a hand on this punt, and Jeff Barnes recovered. The Raiders converted the blocked punt into points and led midway through the third quarter, 21 to seven. But the Colts fought back, finally going ahead 31 to 28. Time became crucial. The Raiders had to stop the Colts right now. They did exactly that. Gain possession and then calmly sent Ghost to the post. Branch left, Boletnikov to the right. Back again, straight drop back, pumps once. He goes medium deep to Casper. Casper makes it over the shoulder, catch! He's caught from behind at the 15 yard line. A very, very remarkable adjustment as Casper, I think, first turned the wrong way and managed to run under that high lob to the deep part of the defense. Casper's catch was a work of art. And then Coach Madden called on Earl Mann to send the game into overtime. This AFC playoff would go into a fifth period, a period of magnificent defense. In the final 23 minutes of this incredible game, the towering Raider defense did not allow a single first down. Tension and exhaustion tapped the last resources as the fifth period became the sixth. Desire and determination were stretched to ultimate limits. But these proud Raiders made one more gallant effort, one final drive, one relentless, undeniable push goal. Stabler to Branch for 19. Then, on second and seven, a beautifully conceived play pass triumphantly brought down the curtain. Dave Casper's touchdown meant a 37-31 victory after 75 minutes and 43 seconds, the longest game in Raider history.